the next thing is new operator new operator is nothing but create a new object so how you can create the new object see here it is all of the methods main method is invoking this logic so the same logic if i recopy this same class if i use this new operator how you can achieve it so for that what i'm going to do i'm copying the same logic with the new operator okay so for this what i'm going to do now whatever internal logic we wrote is everything i'm splitting into another method so here public okay call it my method i just put it everything it here so this one someone has to call this otherwise this logic won't be execute how you can call it first of all you should make the object we have to create the object first then invoke this method okay so for that how you can do new op there will be a reference then new new operator of. so now this line is created created object for new operator example class by using new operator this new operator what it will do it will create the object to create the object this is nothing but a constructor so i will explain you in later what does mean that constructor and all so whatever the class you have by using this class you are making the object that object reference will be here this is a object variable name by using this one you can call this method new example see here this is the way so now this method get invoked by using this object reference if i run this program you can see the same result whatever you are seeing here but the way of approach is different see the result a less than b than the result so this is the way you can use the new operator 